Hey guys, I'm Torin and welcome to my channel. Today I am in the mood to do a bit of watercolour. So I have got out my watercolour paints and I'm ready to do... Um, I'm in a Japanese mood at the moment with my bullet journal. So I thought I'd do the cherry blossoms that you may have seen being used at the top of my bullet journal spread. If you haven't seen that video for the month of January doing my setup for it, I'll link it down in the description box. But yeah, so I was in the mood to paint some more cherry blossoms. So I thought I may as well record it and show you how I did it. So first things first, I just sketched out with a very, very light pencil um, to give me the outlines of the flowers that I was working with. I just used a picture reference um, to get the layout and then I basically invented where I think the extra buds should go. So I just sketch out that first and then I go straight in with the watercolour. What's great about this particular design is you're really only using two watercolours. So I've mixed up a really dark brown and then I'm using like a straight red that because you're using so much water on the petals to get that light pink white shade, um, yeah, you just use one, one colour and it ends up looking um, quite like a wash. It's like a real wash of colour, which is what I was hoping to get. To get. I didn't want it to look too perfect. I just wanted a very loose um, watercolour flower. So I think that really comes across and hopefully you guys think so too. So once you have that first layer of the red on in that kind of washed out look, then I just add extra red in the centre of all the, like the buds, the buds of the flowers, I think that's what they're called. Uh, so yeah, I'm just doing an extra layer and it's all about building. So as each layer dries, you just want to do another layer until you're happy with the dried result. So watercolours, they always look different when they're dried. So really do wait patiently or use your trusty hairdryer to dry it off in between coats. So I used about three or so layers to get this colour here. Uh, and then I just go in with that same colour to should sort of show the differentiation between each petal. So I'm just putting a little line of colour between each ones just to separate them and give slightly more detail without getting too crazy with any outlines and things. So after I've painted the branch in like a dark brown colour, it's time to go into the middle of the flowers, which I have learned from Google is called the style, apparently, which is basically the centre of the flower, which I would just naturally call the bud. But apparently it's called a style, and these little tendrils that I'm drawing in are the stigma. No, the stamen. So thank you for helping me out there, Google. <laughs> the final piece is to add some little dots to the end of the stamen, and then it is finished. So I, I turned this one into a card because, I don't know, it just gives me purpose to do things. At least it's killing two birds with one stone. And so I'm just folding the card in half and there you have the cover of your card in a beautiful cherry blossom. So thank you for watching this and I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave some links to previous videos that you might be interested in in the description box below. And I will see you in my next video. Catch you later.